Welcome back to the second part of this tutorial in Chapter 11. We're going to talk about selections in a little bit more advanced way. We do have other tutorials outside the scope of this course on selecting hair and difficult scenes. So let's go ahead and choose this one. Right click and edit with Photoshop Elements Editor. This, make sure your project bins collapsed like they've been in the previous tutorials. I'm just going to quickly change this to one side. You didn't see that. You'll have your layers panel over, or your layers panel over here with a lot of layers. Don't worry, a lot of these are for show. So go ahead and select Magic Contiguous, turn the visibility on if it isn't. We're going to use this tool called the Magic Wand Tool Shortcut W. You'll notice that it has familiar settings, new, add, and subtract, and intersect. But it has a new thing here called Tolerance. What does that mean? Well, that means it sets the range when sampling the color as it says on the tooltip, but what does that mean? Well, if I move my Magic Wand right here and I click it will tell me that all this color is the same. There's a tolerance of one. That basically means it's the same color within this whole selection. If I go over to this side, you'll notice that the gradient moves pretty fast. I'll bet it will be a smaller selection, as you can tell it is. See, if I click here, it is. But if I click in pure white, it tends to get a little bit um, wider. It also, I also have anti-alias on, on, which means it's going to be a smooth selection instead of a little jaggedy and I have contiguous. Contiguous basically means wherever I click and I sample it only stays within that area. And sample all layers we, we want to leave on un, unchecked because um, it's only selecting from this layer not from other layers. And we'll talk about this button here in, in uh, another layer here. Now let's go ahead and select, deselect, choose the second layer, turn on the visibility, go ahead and turn off the other visibility at the bottom layer. Now let's choose a tolerance of one again. As you can see, it has a nice selection there. But this time, when we, we're going to turn off contiguous and see what happens. So go ahead and click again. Notice what happened? It selected here and here. So how did that happen? Because when we uncheck contiguous, it's not next to each other. So if I select red here, and there's also red on this layer over here, it's going to select both reds. So that's a nice little thing to know. Okay, so now let's increase our tolerance to 32 and let's see what happens. And let's select right here. Notice it's selected here and it's selected here. So both of these sides are within a tolerance of 32 from where I select. And it's non-contiguous in different parts. Okay. Now the tricky part about the magic wand is how much tolerance do you know to apply to get the right selection. So that can be a little bit difficult sometimes. And that's why they've invented the other two called the Quick Selection Tool, shortcut A. So let's go ahead and choose Select, Deselect, and let's choose a third layer called Original. And we'll turn off the visibility of these other layers. Now you'll notice here that we have a rose. Now let's choose this wand here. Let's choose a tolerance of 10, let's say. We're going to choose Contiguous because we want it to sample what's next to. Anti-Layas is on because we get smooth edges. And we're going to choose Add to Selection so that each time we click, it's going to add to the selection. Now watch when I press the Magic Wand tool. It just selected that little area. So can, how would I select this rose? Can you imagine how long this would take? Now I could uncheck Contiguous and try it out and see what happens. Okay. But you see there are parts that are missing. And we can verify there's parts missing if we use a Refine Edge tool here. Click on it. We can choose different backgrounds to view this under, so let's view it under black. Look at that. You see, it didn't select all the leaves. So the magic wand tool can be good and not so good at the same time. And by the way, you can just click on different backgrounds to view it. Okay, so go ahead and click cancel. But you're probably saying, well, why don't you just increase the tolerance? Well, let's increase it to 32 and see what happens. Oh, okay. Now it's selecting more of the leaf, the leaves on the rows here. That's nice, but I, could, I still have to click all day. Okay. Now let me see how it looks under the refine edge. Click the refine edge. We'll look under that black again. Oh, that's not too bad. But you can see that it took a while. So go ahead and click cancel. Now let's choose select, deselect. Okay, so let's go ahead and use the quick selection tool, shortcut A. You can choose to also new selection, add or subtract. And you can choose the brush size. You can also sample from all layers and auto enhance to make it um, select better. Spiffy word for it. Okay, now let's try this rose. It's hard to see my cross here, so I'm going to increase the size of, of my um, 
quick selection tool by pressing the right bracket key. And you notice here that all I gotta do is just click and it will automatically select what I need it to select. It's smart enough to know what am I what am I selection. It doesn't require a tolerance. It just knows. <laughs> sometimes this works wonders, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, let's see how good it did. Okay. Okay, it didn't select this vine here, so in order to select that vine, I would have probably have to zoom in here a little bit better and then choose the um, quick selection tool, reduce the size of my um, quick selection tool, and then drag here and see what it does. Fill screen so we can see it a little bit better. Now we'll choose this screen. Now let's see how well we did with the quick selection. So I'm going to select the quick selection again. I'm going to choose a refine edge because we also have this button with the um, quick selection tool. I'm going to choose this um, white and black. Oh, but it selected this part, so I made a boo boo. So we're going to click cancel. We're going to come over to this area. I'm going to increase my brush size here. I'm going to press the Alt key to make it a minus, as you can see, and it will subtract from the selection. Okay, now let me choose refine edge and see how well I did. Well, a little bit better, not too bad, but still we have some problems. So let's go ahead and choose select, deselect, 